nice guys. I think I came across nice guys, but I, again, I like the nice guy who I simply connect with, with that energy. Um, and, um, it's not always just the nice thing for me. To me, it's always about the individual person. Like everyone's so. So you've never had a guy be too nice. Well, I've had a guy be too nice that I already wasn't interested okay, in. Okay, got it. Because he's just Because he guy. already feels like he's losing, so now he starts chasing yeah, him and it just gets correct, worse. Correct. Wait, from your perspective, like what is what's a nice guy or what is being too nice? Like what does Overly that mean? Really nice. For you? Uh, like, okay, mm -hmm. I because I grew up in Detroit, so it's they kind of raise you a little a little tough. So I do like when men, men and women court each other, like reciprocate and sure. take care of each and pamper each other. Fine. Yes, of course. But when you clearly kind of are interested and they're like treating you like a baby, like more baby. Like, oh, are you okay? Yeah. Are, are you okay? Are you cold? Like, are you cold? Are you okay? Are you, do you need something to eat? Like, like relax, like chill. Like, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're doing too much. Like, you know, <laughs> that's being too nice. Cause you're trying to like, you're not even living your life. You're like, they're like treating you differently yeah. than everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Like live your life, like live with me, not try to, I'm, you're not, you know, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> be a narcissist. Be well, a I, and right. I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> well, hold on, real, real quick, <laughs> let, me, let me just shout out Titan Energy Cookie was going to come tonight. They're not going to be able to make it, but well, I want to shout out Titan Energy yes. Cookie because they're, they're dropping off some energy cookies for oh, us tomorrow. Thank you. Can I get one of those coffees that's in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to break the fourth wall and I'm about to get crunk. I'm going to be sweating here in the right. side. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's get it going. Oh, actually, I want to ask you because you mentioned something about this before about being chased and being chased or a guy being too nice. Okay. Hmm. How do I put this? So there's like that desperation that I'm chasing you because you're so hot, but it's almost like, um, like a dehumanization factor where like you're chasing after someone for the idea of them versus um, actually having a connection and actually being friends, the foundation of what makes a healthy relationship. You know, do your, do your life goals align? Do your careers align? Uh, are you sexually attracted to each other? Because that's important. When someone's so after you and it's just desperate and they can't have a real conversation with you, it, it, I, and I, I hate to say too nice, but it, it comes off as, as, you know, almost misogynistic in a way because mm. now I'm not, I'm not a person to you. So, so he's so he's, so he's treating you he's, differently. So just yeah. because of so let me, let me you are. So the word infantilization, like yeah. right, a hundred percent. So you believe that he's infantilizing you because he's being too nice or because he's chasing too much. Yeah, I like you know I like a little bit of chase. I'll give a little bit. Um, I like a lot of shit talking. Like when I'm when I'm interested in somebody, we got to be able to talk shit. That's how I make friends. That's how I establish a connection with someone so if you're just always on the chase and you're always like you're so beautiful oh my god i want to give you the world i'm like well there's nothing really here i could get that down the street but, but you, are, you also, i already have the world thank you. Yeah, what else thank you have you. do you do you also recognize <laughs> have you also recognize that he you also did nothing to deserve him yeah like that. Right. 100 percent. why are you doing too. yeah why are you doing just this, imagine dude? guys <laughs> Just imagine if someone comes and tries to sell you aluminum siding every day at your yeah, house. Yeah, man. And after like two months, he hasn't sold the aluminum siding. After a while, you're like, this aluminum siding must suck because you haven't like you haven't sold it. Right? That's honestly such a great analogy is like sales. It's like, you know, part of sales is building rapport. If you don't have that rapport, you don't have. And I hate to. <laughs> that's sales. such a shitty analogy. No, it's a perfect analogy. It's actually perfect analogy. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. For, from, from our standpoint as a man. It's a one-to-one -one analogy. It's the exact same thing. So, like, who would you rather buy from? Someone that you know who's gone out of their way to establish rapport with you, who treats you like a person, or someone who's coming up to your door every day and they're super persistent, but you just – they're they're coming off as desperate and creepy, you know? That's where I come from on the it's nice guy work. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think it really just depends on what, like, stage in my life that I'm at. I feel like people date who they think they deserve. Um, I've definitely like had periods of my life where I've dated complete assholes and I feel like it was more of a way to, for me to like, not look at myself when I was doing shit. Cause I had somebody doing poo poo with me, you know, but, um, I think once in a while I'll definitely, I don't know. I like a nice guy once in a while. I think I can get the fact of like something being overbearing. Um, so that I think that's a little different than just like a nice guy in general, but I understand like n feeling like like there's like a million pounds on you because they're just like smothering you. Yeah, yeah. I think that's maybe the issue with like the nice guy thing. I think that's what people generally first think of is I, the smothering. 
question for YouTube, since you guys obviously work in a strip club, do you ever feel like the more money like a guy spends at these places, the less you respect him in no. a way? No, because that's what I want. Yeah. Why would I? Yeah, but, but you, <laughs> Why but would you I wait, 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 sorry, sorry. I should reword that. But you would never be attracted to a guy in that situation. You would take his money, of course, as you should. I've but you wouldn't be. I've would dated you? a guy from the strip club. I don't give a flying really? fuck. Really? Yeah. Depends. Like, if Depends. you are giving me what I want, why would I respect you less? Yeah, I agree. It, I feel like <laughs> if you love mac person. and cheese and your mom person. made you a big mm -hmm. ass thing of mac and cheese, would you be like, <laughs> dumb bitch? No. <laughs> you would eat the fucking mac and cheese and be like, thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs>